Well, in general, some of the best ways to very simply enhance your immune system and to get your body's chemistry working in your favor is to maintain the surface of the skin because this is your uh, your suit of armor. Your skin is a is a permeable membrane, which means that things that you touch, you can convey microbes and pathogens and germs and virus and all sorts of stuff through the organ of the skin. What you put on your skin is absorbed. So that's why during these uh, flu and uh, pandemics, they're saying make sure you wash your hands, which is very smart, um, and make sure you use hand sanitizers, cover sneezes. The other thing you can do is work um, from a nutritional sense, which is to build your own body's immune system with, um, uh, of course, good food, the way you, the way you rest, um, the ba a balanced life. But the other thing that you can do, as I mentioned, with the skin is maintain and, and not dissolve, again, going back to using that word, not dissolve the epidermal layer. What I saw from my clients who were overusing the alpha hydroxy acids as, as a rule was a, a skin that was weakened, a skin that had more oiliness and eventually more broken capillaries. Um, it actually, as I mentioned, it thins the, the epidermal layer. It thins it and it dissolves it. So while it doesn't melt right off your skin, it does have that effect over time. So you're inflicting a meaningful and purposeful burn on the skin. So for me, um, and for many of us who are holistic estheticians, uh, inflicting a purposeful burn on the skin is a short-term way of dealing with the skin. Your epidermal layer is your protective shield. It is what helps to protect you against the rays of the sun.